hey there psychonauts so i talked about it in another video and i had an experiment that i was planning to do and this experiment involves testing my math ability while on lsd which i did um i did a control experiment the day before i took a problem set from my old calculus textbook and it was problems like 1 through 22 and i solved the odds while i was sober and then while I was on LSD, I solved the evens. I ended up taking 200 micrograms of LSD. So four hours into the experience, I sat myself down and I tried to solve the problem set that I had planned out. I did record myself both while I was sober and while on LSD for this experiment. And I am gonna put some of that in the video just to have a comparison. I will say, I was four hours into a 200 microgram experience, so setting things up seemed very complicated a task. So you'll see what I kind of looked like while on LSD, and I'll just show a brief comparison of what I looked like while doing it sober. That would be the problem. <laughs> oh, I didn't plan for this. Yeah, I mean, I am getting annoyed with it, but I figured that out. Should I just give up? The part of it is that I could give up. It's not so hard, it's just square root of two. Times three. I think that's right. I think that's gonna be all we can do. That's it. Okay, so let's talk about the results. While sober, I was able to finish the entire problem set uh, problems 1 through 21 odd and it took me a little over five minutes while four hours into a 200 microgram experience doing problems 2 through 22 even it took me a little over seven minutes but I did not complete all the problems I skipped number 18 and did not complete it and I also did not complete number 22 so I definitely did worse while on LSD but that was as expected all the problems that I completed on LSD they as far as I can tell they are accurate I didn't do number 18 which involved the quotient rule um I will show uh the problem sets of both the sober one and the LSD one So while I was uh, on LSD, I was not able to solve number 18, which involved the quotient rule. If you're familiar with derivatives, the derivatives I were doing were pretty simple. They involved like constants, polynomials, um, using the sum rule, the product rule, the, the quotient rule, and the chain rule. The only thing I really had a problem with was the quotient rule, and really that was because I don't have that fully committed to memory. It's always something that I have to look up, whereas the chain rule, the product rule, the sum rule and just rules for differentiating polynomials all of that is pretty much second nature to me so i didn't have too much problems but it seemed like the ones that i did complete i was able to complete them almost as fast as i would have sober really the main factor was the focus and like getting myself to focus and getting myself to get the problem in my mind so once i like finally got the problem in my mind and was able to like process it i think i was able to solve it pretty naturally and without too much difficulty but yeah focusing was definitely the major factor in this and that's obviously pretty predictable 
especially considering the dose and the time into the experience. This was probably shortly after the peak of the experience and there was a few points that I wanted to give up. That's one of the main things is just like getting myself to not give up and not think that this whole thing is ridiculous. Um, another, I felt very disconnected from, there was obviously some ego dissolution going on and I felt very disconnected from the self that came up with this whole idea. Like, I intellectually realized that that was my idea and, you know, but I just felt like this brand new awareness and I, you know, I had to go along with this silly idea that somebody already made for me. Um, that was the main thing is that I didn't want to focus on it. Uh, I powered through because I knew that it wasn't going to take that long and if I just got it done, I could have my results and I could be done with the experiment and I could move on and you know, enjoy the rest of my trip. I didn't necessarily have an initial plan of when I wanted to do it into the experience. Uh, originally, I was thinking I was going to do 100 micrograms and I'd probably do it five or six hours into the experience. So I definitely made it more challenging for myself, but I think that the results are more interesting that way. So the ones I did on acid, I still got them all correct. And, you know, even ones involving the chain rule and the product rule, I was able to solve those fine. Um, one thing I will note is that I had a little bit more trouble simplifying things when I was on LSD, uh, just because that's like a little extra step to make things, to have it in a neater form, to have the solution in a more condensed, neat form. Um, for example, on number four, uh, the derivative is three-fourths x to the eighth, and I wrote my answer as three-fourths times eight x to the seventh, which is correct, but you know, I could have multiplied eight and three-fourths, but it just seemed like too much of a bother to do that. So yeah, I definitely did not simplify as much on LSD. So like I said, the main factor was getting myself to focus, but it seemed that once I got the problem in my head, I remembered what to do and it kind of just happened automatically. I ran into trouble with the quotient rule because I didn't remember it. And even though it was right there in the textbook, I could have used it. I just, I couldn't do it. It was too much work trying to plug in to a formula and that was something I just couldn't manage to do on LSD. In conclusion, it is possible to solve calculus problems while on 200 micrograms of LSD. Ideally, I would have performed this experiment more systematically. I would have had a sober person there to help me set up the experiment. I would have controlled the variables a little bit more, but this was just for fun. I really just wanted to see what was going to happen and I did get some results. There's so many ideas to explore with the realm of mathematics and psychedelics had definitely inspire me to look into some of these subjects um, more deeply. Basically, I think LSD does give a useful perspective to understand patterns and mathematics is really the study of patterns. I find the LSD experience gives me a really interesting headspace to analyze these patterns in a different way and it's not always the most practical or useful thing for performing calculations like i said i did worse trying to do calculus problems there were some problems i gave up on and you know there were some problems that i couldn't simplify even though it would have been easy to simplify so just simple arithmetic sometimes was difficult but overall it's nice to know that I still was able to maintain uh, a good amount of my mathematical ability. Let me know what you think about this experiment. Um, also, like I said, I will be doing a trip report for the full LSD trip and that will probably be my next video. So I will see you all next time.